Thank you to John B for donating $400 to Extra Life and supporting Operation Alfasale. What? Uh, that that uh, it has no bumper. Hello? It the uh, game? Why? <laughs>so turns out if you play the final race and then you turn off your xbox after you've done so you uh you gotta do it again which is fun yeah uh so i just spent the last 15 or so minutes actually going in and doing it again yay any championship with a jag xkrs gets my attention you know with a jag god damn it dude really all right, so uh, let's start this up. Do we have any track racing? Perfect. I'm in one of my very favorite cars in this game, the Jag XKRS. It's such a cool car. Oh my god, I freaking love it. I, I, uh, California, stop it. California, go, da, 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 da. Not doing that again. So yeah, back in one of my favorite Jags, Jag person. Uh, this and the F-Type, super, super cool cars, but... I, I was actually lucky enough to see one of these not too long ago with the XKR and the S. Such a cool car in person. Like, you look at pictures of it, it's like, it's a Jag. And then you see it in real life. Oh boy, it's a cool car. It's a really cool car. And this race is not going well already. This is not... So hopefully you've been able to see the most recent uh, challenge video we did, or I did with uh, Custom Map Cinema, sort of. Uh, he came in a little late. Uh, Theo and Tom with the car that can do everything. That was really cool. I was just like, hey, what car do you think's the best at doing everything? Off-roading, drifting, circuit racing, everything. And we did some testing and we think we may have found not the answer whatsoever. But uh, yeah, it was really, really fun to do. And yeah, if you haven't seen that video yet, I will include a link down below. But, uh, yeah, that was a super fun video we, uh, we got to record. We're gonna do some more stuff like that. Those types of videos are super, super fun to record. Another thing I know a lot of people have been asking for is where is part two of Cops and Robbers? It is on the way. Uh, that is coming a little bit later today, uh, where Raymond and I are the thieves stealing some drugs, and Marco and Willie are the cops trying to, uh, trying to stop us. So that's coming out a little bit later today. So, yeah, yesterday I spoke a little bit about Fast and the Furious, or, well, Furious 7 is what it's called now. At least in the in uh, North America, that's what it's called. And in Europe, it's still called Fast and the Furious. I don't really know why they decided to do that, but it's a thing. Anyways, I was enjoying reading a lot of your guys' predictions for what is going to be happening in Fast and the Furious. It's going to be very, very interesting to see. To see what happens with, uh, with Brian O'Connor, Paul Walker's character that he played. Because he sadly passed away around a year ago now. And it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see what happens with that character. They did say though that the Fast and the Furious franchise is not going to end at this film. There's already an, or there was. Paul Walker actually announced that there's an 8th film planned and they're actually looking at putting 9th and 10th ones together. But that was before he passed away. So we're going to see I, I don't know what's going to happen with with that character and the whole story now. It's going to be very very interesting. It uh, if you're a fan of at all of the Fast and the Furious movies, this one that's coming out is probably going to be one that uh, you want to see. Because it, it could change the entire story. It could just end with this one. We don't know. It's going to be interesting to see what happens, though. So this good trip car has gone with the old Bentley. Can never go wrong with one of these. Holy crap. This thing would be incredible in the snow. If there are any really rich people out there who can buy a Bentley and are willing to take it out in the snow, do it. And record a video because I really, really want to see it. This thing could so do it. It's got the weight, so you're going to get some grip. It's four-wheel drive, so you're going to get some grip. I want to see someone put this thing sideways in the snow. It'd be incredible. So going back to Fast and the Furious, actually, really quickly. Uh, Paul Walker's brother, Cody Walker, I believe is his name. He is actually going to be taking uh, or is going to be featured in Fast and the Furious. He's going to be having some role, uh, some mysterious role that is probably, I, I assume, is going to be Brian O'Connor's brother. But I don't know. They haven't said anything. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens. It's uh, it's going to be a very good one. But yeah, we do get the trailer, or one trailer, I believe, this uh, this upcoming Sunday, I think it is. November 1st, whenever that is. I think that's Sunday. Or 
No, that's Saturday. There you go. Saturday, we get our first trailer for Fast and Furious 7, which hopefully should answer some of our questions for what's going to happen. Oh, I'm just realizing we're driving around San Giovanni. That's interesting, because tomorrow, uh, the Top Gear crew and I, oh shit, roll down a mountain together. Yep, the Top Gear crew and I, uh, for tomorrow, in tomorrow, not tomorrow, when is it? Friday, whenever that is. I'm recording this in advance. Um, we are playing a game of hide and seek in San Giovanni, and some unexpected things happened, and it became quite interesting, actually, and quite freaking hysterical. Uh, so that's gonna be on Friday if you're interested for that. Uh, that is a hide and seek with a twist, a little twist. Interesting thing happened in it. So, so as you can tell by the title of this video, how does one get kicked off an F1 test or an F1 racetrack? Well, here's what you gotta do. So, for those who don't know, I live in Montreal. We have an F1 track here, the Canadian Grand Prix. It takes place here, and uh, when it's not the F1. Nothing else happens there. Basically, it's just a it's just a road with a park in the middle of it, and like that's about it. Really, there's nothing really special about it. But um, the track, or well, yeah, the track is actually a road. It's actually meant for like bikers and stuff. But you can go and drive on it slowly. But uh, it's actually open all the time. So if you didn't see the video uh, that I made with the AR12 crew a little while ago, uh, the hundred thousand subscriber thank you video. That was actually recorded there. We went to the F1 track and got a little kicked out uh, because that was actually during F1 or like just before F1 started. It was like the Thursday or Wednesday we went down. Wednesday or Thursday we went down. And uh, we were filming that video, right? Turns out uh, the whoever runs the... Is it like FIA, the F1 security people? Apparently they don't like you filming, uh, especially in the garages. Um... So we sort of got kicked out for that. But that is not how you actually get kicked out. Because some people don't have that luxury of getting kicked out by Fia. Uh, so here's what you have to... I, th I really hope it's Fia. <laughs> I think it is. Um, but how do you get kicked up off an F1 track another time? I'm with, uh, I'm with some people with some cars. And we wanted to film uh, some drive-bys of some cars. Most importantly, our cars. So we were there. We were on the long straight, the uh, pit straight. And we had a person, like, up top of the thing, like, where the checkered flag dude stands. I don't know. It probably is. We, he was up there filming. And uh, so one person does his run. Pretty cool. Another person does his run. Pretty cool. And then I'm getting ready to do my run. And uh, track security comes out and goes, nope, nope, nope. And, uh, yeah, that video never happened. But, um... Was, was fun getting kicked off the F1 track for a second time. We've actually been kicked off a couple of times. It's it's quite fun to get kicked off and to drive around, but uh, turns out you get kicked off quite a bit. Keep in mind though, this was at night, by the way. This is at night when everyone's like, all the bikers and drive and like joggers and everyone's left. This was at night, so there was no one around and we thought it'd be fun just to go drive around and uh, got kicked off. That is, however, a oh, balls. That is, however, not the only time I have been kicked off a racetrack. I've been kicked off of the Top Gear test track as well, when I went to England last time. I uh, got kicked off the Top Gear test track. I may tell that story maybe next time. Uh, but that was fun, getting kicked off of that track as well. Um, yeah, BBC apparently doesn't like you going there either. So here's a, here's a, here's a tip. Don't go to racetracks. There you go. Don't do it. You get kicked off a lot. Final race, doing some rally off-road stuff. And I actually have no idea what place I'm in for the championship. So I better win or else I may be screwed. I really don't want to have to do this championship again. God damn it, that would be annoying. I really thought that this was off-road. Turns out I was a little, <laughs> just a bit wrong. This is all on the street. I'm doing well though. I'm making some distance. All right, game, please do not screw me over. Fingers crossed, I got the championship nice win. Riding, I got the win in the race. Really Come on. Yeah, buddy, got it. Mate, that was Woo! Some immense driving. You just added another championship to your haul. Well, that went well. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you did, click that subscribe button down below for more types of videos like this. 
in your subscription box. Don't forget to share this around with your friends as you do. Anyways, guys, thank you again very, very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.